The Calvin Brutus investigation into financial irregularities has become a very sensitive issue with Brutus accusing senior government officials of being involved in the investigation. He has moved to the court, citing political interference. Retired Assistant Police Commissioner Paul Slow quoted sections of Calvin Brutus's court filing. That political interference was evident at the court hearing before Justice um, Nicole Payer, dated the 21st of August, 2024. The Attorney General said that if the applicant doesn't report to Soku, he would cause a wanted bulletin to be issued. That was a claim by Assistant Police Commissioner Calvin Brutus in his petition to the court. That at a court hearing before Madam Justice Nicole Pierre dated September the 19th, 2024, the Attorney General said that he would cause he would cause Soku to widen the investigations, the investigation to investigate each witness that gave statement on behalf. Uh, on, on, on my behalf, evidencing monetary gain. That was a further contention in Brutus's court claim. Assistant Police Commissioner Clinton Conway confirmed political interference into police investigations. He said that when he was arrested on what he called trumped-up charges, he was in the police station. When I was arrested, I remember calling up here and up here said, no, this political candidate. And true to form, a politician... One of my contacts here contacted a politician who was a minister of government. I'm not going to call his name, but I'll call his name if, if I want to, because it is recorded. He said he's going to call Karim Bash and instruct Karim Bash to send us on bail. So insisted that the special organized crime unit is incapable of conducting any investigation. Because why, if a proper investigation is being done, a real professional investigation by competent people, why would the Attorney General see the need, as Brutus is claiming, to tell them to expand the investigation? He then quoted Brutus of accusing the government of harassing him. That the government embarked on a system of harassment of the applicant by obstructing lawful access to services at state agencies, including the Central Housing and Planning Authority, the Guyana Geology and Mines Commission, and the Environmental Protection Agency. Special Organized Crime Unit conducted unlawful acts in the investigations, including unlawfully and prematurely restraining the applicants and his family's bank account. Brutus, his wife and infant son are said to have some $800 million in eight bank accounts in Guyana. Most of this money was said to have accrued in one year.